Hello Leo, welcome to August. Well, it's not really August quite yet, but this is gonna be your August reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Leo. What is up everyone? I wanna give a big birthday shout out to all of y'all. A few of you may have already had birthdays, but happy, happy birthday for all you Leos. Down in the comments section, I want you guys, let us know what your birthday is. Find your Leo twin and you guys can celebrate each other because I am definitely celebrating you. Thank you for all of your support. All right, we're gonna take a look at the recent past. We're gonna look at the current energy between you and whomever's on your mind. What are they thinking about the past and the present? What do they think of you? How do they feel about you, Leo? What are their intentions throughout August? So what can you expect from this person? What are they hiding? So what's coming that you don't know from this person? What's your advice from spirit and what is your outcome throughout August? Person on your mind, whomever you're connecting with. All right, Leo, let's check it out. So if you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad you're here and I hope you stay and I hope you come back for returning. Thank you so much if you are returning. Again, I appreciate all your support. I like to lay out all my cards and then we go through them. Mom here likes to get a feel of the energy and of course we will clarify. All right, let's check out the recent past. What do we got? Queen of Cups. So on this channel, she's a Cancer. Doesn't have to be. I do name the zodiac signs. It doesn't mean it's not your reading. It just, I, you know, some people wanna know, but we've got water energy there. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. What's going on right now? What's the current energy, Leo? We got the Knight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. What's on your person's mind? What are they thinking when it comes to this energy? Ooh, the Ace of Wands, all right. There's your fire energy. So we've got water, we've got air, now we've got your fire. What does this person think of you throughout August? Seven of Pentacles, now we've got Earth. We've got everybody. How do they feel about you deep down, Leo? The moon, sign of Cancer, major arcana. So if you are kind of new to tarot or even new to my channel, um, there are 22 major arcana in the deck, 22 of these cards. And it's kind of just the universe speaking up, right? You don't have a whole lot of free will. And we've got zodiac signs associated with the majors. How does this person intend to move forward? Two of swords, Libra. What are they hiding? What's in the hidden factors? We've got the three of swords in reverse. All right, what's your advice from Spirit, Leah? What does Spirit want you to know? The Fool, Major Arcana for Aries. What's your outcome for August with this person? You've got the Hermit, Major Arcana for Virgo. So we've got quite a few majors showing. So big, you know, something big throughout August, big shifts in energy, maybe big decisions coming into play. All right, let's take a look here. All right, mom's got a feel for it. We're gonna start clarifying and then we're gonna go through each position here. I do wanna point out also too, the um, link to the extended reading is gonna be below. We're gonna do extended reading this month. It will be down in the description box and then it'll also be pinned in the comment section along with everything else you need to know. So if you wanna go check that out, we're gonna take a look at your person. So we're gonna just dive into their energy so with, see what they're really thinking and feeling and how you're gonna move forward out of August. So what you can expect from them. So we'll do that. Also too, the giveaway this month has to do with the extended readings. So when you purchase an extended reading, you're automatically going to go into the drawing for a free private reading. I'm doing a giveaway every month throughout the summer. So when you purchase your private reading, automatically your name will be put into um, the drawing for one free private reading. So when you purchase that extended, it automatically comes to me with your name and email and everything. So I will have all of that. And you might just want a private reading. All right, so let's see what's going on. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So the recent past, we've got the Queen of Cups. You might have, um, can you know, you could have cancer in your chart. You could even be um, a Cancer Leo Cusper. But that Queen of Cups does represent love, emotion. There could be a little bit of an age difference here, Leo, between you and this person, whomever you're thinking about during the reading. We've got a Queen and a Knight. That's, you know, the only reason I'm saying that. Um, or it could just be you're on different kind of playing fields here, right? Like somebody maybe a little more mature when it comes to love and relationships than the other person or what the other person wants. 
their energy right now is the Knight of Swords, fast energy. So the Knights in Tarot, you know, they're coming, they're going. The Knight of Swords is the fastest moving Knight. He's in a hurry. You know, sometimes he's got some drama, but in this deck, he's, it, for me, this Knight of Swords is just busy. He's rushing in. So we'll see why. So let's check it. In the recent past, you guys, you have this Queen of Cups with the Hierophant in reverse, sign of Taurus. Why is the Hierophant in reverse? So there's another Major Arcana and the Devil, Capricorn energy. Now this could be you or it could be them, Leo. First of all, you guys may have gone through a breakup, maybe even a divorce. There was still love there if that is your situation. But also too, I feel like you're taking on that Queen of Cups energy. It's super intuitive. It's also a lot of it's kind of sitting in that energy of like, listen, I've done a lot of healing. I'm emotionally balanced. Maybe after a breakup, it was quite toxic. Now this could have even been between the two of you. So somebody's sitting in that energy here in the recent past and it's affecting how you guys move forward, but we're gonna see how and what happens. What's this Knight of Swords currently? So this is your current energy with this person. And now we have the King of Swords in reverse. So a lot of you are definitely connecting with somebody that has air in their chart and the Queen of Cups. Look at her in this deck. So she's kind of side-eyeing. She's like, yeah, I got that cup, but it's closed, right? So she, again, she's really using her intuition. I feel like you're in that energy. I feel like this person is the one that's either closed and cold, kind of closed, cold, cut off a bit. There could have been some drama. But you definitely have somebody rushing in. But I think that you are more, Leo, you are more mature and ready to offer the love. They've gone through something toxic, I think. I think it's more their energy now that we're clarifying. They're going to be coming towards you. But again, just be careful, whomever this is, even if you're already partnered with this person, I'm getting this energy of like a little bit of aggressive, like a little aggressive, a little angry. They might spout off with their communication. And then you turn into this queen. You're like, oh, hell no. That cup's closed, baby. You're not going to treat me like that. It's something like that. Because on their mind is this Ace of Wands. So this Ace of Wands is passion. It's the boom, boom. What's this Ace of Wands? And the Six of Swords. But then they might call the Water Uber and take off. So just be really careful. And again, if you're already partnered or dating this person, it could be this hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold. I'm getting like... Um, I'm just getting like this person has a lot going on and they're like really tense and a little bit aggressive and they kind of want to be left alone this month, but they're attracted to you, but you're going to be aware of it because you're that queen of cups. This is how I'm reading this. So even if you're single, Leo, just kind of be on the lookout for that. Make sure that you keep that cup closed. All right. What do they think of you? Seven of Pentacles with the magician, Virgo, Gemini, Major Arcana. Why do they view Leo as the Seven of Pentacles with the Magician and the Water Uber Sister, also known as the Chariot? They, you got Cancerian energy. Your energy is so nice. I mean, you're, you're really taking stock of the situation. So your energy is so smart. It's so balanced. And they're going to view you that way, no matter what your situation is with this person. That Seven of Pentacles is, is this going to lead to disappointment? I'm putting in time. I've put in effort here. I'm really taking a step back, taking stock of the situation because I can manifest whatever I want with that magician. They're going to view you as being very powerful. This is a very strong physical attraction also with the magician and the chariot. It goes back to that ace of wands. You're both going to be physically attracted to each other, but they're going to view you as like slowing down. Like you're going to kind of take the step back because there's something about them whether it's their communication or just kind of this off feeling you're getting throughout August, which mom here doesn't like because it's your birthday month. So, and then they may view you, at, again, they're viewing you as really being able to overcome obstacles and take back control of situations here. The magician with the chariot energy can very much certainly speak on, you know, I'm kind of... Um, tricking you a little bit i'm pulling the wool over your eyes a little bit i have that you know that very strong magnetic pull but i'm also able to get what i want and then move on and they're going to view you as really taking a look at this there could have been past history with this person 
and maybe they've done that before. And if you're completely single, again, your energy is just badass and they're going to know that. How, do, how are they going to feel about you deep down? What's going on in their emotions? You've got the moon, Cancerian or Pisces energy, and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Why the Nine of Pentacles in reverse? Virgo and judgment. I And again, whomever this is, I really feel as though they're just closed off to a long-term relationship. They're worried about something here. Give me one more card on the moon. The moon can mean so many things, y'all. Emotionally, the moon can really talk about you know, confusion and worry, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, this person is just going to move very slowly. This is a, you know, this is not somebody that wants to jump into a long-term relationship. They're going to, they feel confused when it comes to that. It could be that they've been married before or in a long-term relationship before. They feel blocked. They've got a decision to make. They're going to, but then the energy shifts and we'll take a look towards the end of the month. Yes, the hermit, which can talk about withdrawal, but the hermit is also interested in uncovering more. It's very slow energy. No doubt they know that they're attracted to you, but we need to find out why are they so closed off to a relationship? They're making that, you know, it's a very big decision for them with the judgment. What can you expect moving forward? So how do they plan to move throughout August with you to a swords? Why is this here? And the Wheel of Fortune. Timing, fate, karma, change, right? What's this Two of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune, Major Arcana, Nine of Swords in reverse? Yeah, they're really going to be in that energy of, like, I enjoy you. I want to be with you. I'm a little bit like, uh, like, this person could be really stressed out at work as well. And also, too, they could be dealing with, maybe they have children with somebody and that person's toxic. Your person throughout this month just seems really kind of, like wired and it's just making them kind of pull away from the relationship or wanting to commit it doesn't mean forever we're just looking into august but moving forward they know like they're eventually they're gonna have to make a decision here when it comes to you but they feel a little bit blinded by it with the two of swords they could even have like a heart chakra blockage with the wheel of fortune they're waiting for change this person has to get through something else also, too, remember on their mind is the Six of Swords. I got to leave troubles behind. It's either work or it's, a, it's like a relationship that they're dealing with, whether that's you or before you, something like that. They're like, I just can't worry this month. Like, I can't have all this stress on me. So what's going on behind the scenes? So what are they hiding or what's coming that you don't see? You got the Three of Swords in reverse. Yeah, see with the lovers, Gemini energy. Some of you, this is just full-blown cheating. I mean, mom here can't avoid it. You know, if I see it, I'm going to call it. I don't always go to that because it's not always about cheating or another person. Sometimes the third energy can be work. It can be a family situation. Something that's causing, you know, havoc or some sort of turmoil within your connection. There's definitely another energy that's affecting your person. With the Three of Swords in reverse... Um, again, I think that they're trying to close it up though, right? Like they're trying to get out of something else. And I think it's toxic. And I think it's made them very angry and very cold and detached. What's this lovers and the hidden factors? Why is this in the hidden factors? And what does Leo need to know? We, we want to know. Ace of Cups. Yeah, see healing. And also too, for some of you, this is a newer connection. And you're like, well, everything's been going great. What's up with this person? They seem really distracted. Like they don't want a, something else on their plate, kind of like worrying about where the really, this connection is going, committing, you know, all this stuff. Like to me, this energy again is very much just let's have fun this month. Like I don't want to worry. I've got so much on my plate. And with the Ace of Cups though, I do feel like it's just kind of rough throughout August, which again, I don't like to see for your birthday month. But there's choices and decisions, and that leads to healing with this Ace of Cups. There is an emotional connection. I just think it's this month that they seem a little bit agitated. Um, what's going on with your advice? You've got the Fool, Aries energy, and the Page of Pentacles. Very young energy here, too. This uh, person may have children or a child, and then that's kind of influencing all of this. You know, kids are tough. Listen, kids, right? And especially in relationships, like that's a priority. And sometimes you just got a lot going on, depending on, you know, how many kids and like 
is your person dealing with the parent of the child and that's been kind of toxic but with the full energy there spirit is telling you listen take this risk take this leap of faith but just know your person throughout just you know, at least throughout august is very much in that full energy like let's just do it let's not think about it you know he can be very non-committal and with the page of pentacles again it's very slow like you may just feel even throughout the month at times that you're just kind of getting breadcrumbs with the page of pentacles and spirits just saying listen this is you know this is it and the reason is again because of some sort of outside influence that's affecting your person whether whether they're a new connection you haven't even met them yet whatever it's the same energy but i do i want to know why the king of swords is in reverse there's that knight of swords again that this person definitely has air in their chart somewhere libra gemini of course drama aggressive energy sometimes arguments and sometimes that knight of swords doesn't think before speaking or making a move again there's some sort of drama going around your person throughout August and for some of you it's not even with you but again and some of them haven't even told you about it so if you're like what the hell's wrong with you there's a pantry full of pop tarts why are you so upset it's because something's going on external what's the outcome you've got the hermit why Virgo energy and the high priestess that's very closed off energy it's very much energy of I am not in a hurry the hermit with the high priestess very mysterious energy i think this is you also leo honing in on your intuition with that high priestess she could be a court card right so i mean at least she's a major arcana but i read her as a court card as well and she's just waiting to make a move but she's not going to tell you she works her magic she's super intuitive very mysterious very quiet and she's kind of working behind the scenes because she can but with the hermit there, again, it's very slow, very closed off energy. Something's bugging this person and they're not telling you about it. They're not opening up. It's very much like, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to deal with it. You know, let me just have some time. And it doesn't mean completely that, you know, they're going to ghost you or you guys break up or something like that. If you're already coupled with this person, it's a month of them just needing space. They're going to tell you that um, they're not, they may not tell you why. But the, the reason is because it, there's another energy that's bothering this person, that's stressing them out. So when it comes to you, Leo, they just want it to be kind of, you know, fun, lighthearted. So I would definitely advise not nagging this person throughout August. And I can say that because I'm a big fat nag. And if this is not okay with you, hustle. See you later. You know, call the water Uber. You don't have to, you don't have to be with this person. You have free will. But I'm telling you, it's very slow. It's very closed off. And I think that you're going to say, yeah, you can have a minute. You can have 10 minutes. Hell, you can have 10 months. So it'll be different for all of you. Now, on the extended reading, we'll see what's really going on with them. We're going to dive into their psyche, into their emotions. We're going to see how they feel about you, what you can expect. And um, when you purchase that reading, you will be in the drawing for a free private reading. All right, Leo, that's what I've got for y'all. I love you hard. Love me hard back. And we'll speak soon. Take care.